Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add commas automatically to larger numbers. This is going to be very helpful if you're trying to display dynamic data like this and need to display it correctly on the front end. If you aren't familiar with why this is happening, uh, basically it just comes down to us humans. Uh, we have a hard time reading really large numbers without formatting, and in this case, adding commas. Now, computers don't need commas to read large data sets like this. They don't care. They can read that in a millisecond and understand how big that number is. So in order to pull this off, we will need to add this little bit of JavaScript to your Elementor website. Um, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you can take this code, put it into your Elementor website, and then target a few different uh, large numbers like this. So let's just jump right into the back end of an Elementor page. So here we are on the back end of that Elementor page. And as you can see, this web page is very simple. I just have an HTML uh, widget right here and just two heading tags. So I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can just copy and paste this JavaScript code that I uh, got from this code pen right here. Um, I had to add a few things in here like this jQuery function to make sure it runs inside Elementor. So what you need to do is just copy and paste that into an HTML widget. Now I'm going to show you two different examples on how you can add commas automatically to large numbers like this. So this very first one is just a regular uh, heading widget. And as you can see, I entered in just a really large kind of gibberish number in here. So you could add the commas in here if you wanted. Um, you know, that's, be that's because this is just like a static number set. But we want to have this JavaScript do it automatically for us. And what you need to do is go under Advanced. Under CSS ID, just give it a unique ID. In this case, I'm just going to call it wiki. And then if you look underneath here, um, this is a pretty important step too. Uh, under your HTML tag, in this case, I have it as an H2. You just want to declare it as you know whatever class you want. So I found out that with this code, it does help if you do target that specific class as well. So if you have a P tag, you could put that right here. So what you need to do now is just go back into this JavaScript code and I'll zoom in right here. You can see what you need to do underneath this string is just add in the uh, CSS ID. So in this case, it was just uh, ID wiki H2. So that's why I was like, this is important because if you don't do this, it might not format correctly on the front end. So if you had a P tag, you would put P here or an H1, you would just put H1 right here. And that's how you can do it with a static number. So if you look on the front end of the page, this is what it looks like. It adds the commas automatically. Now I'm going to show you this example, which is actually an ACF field. So this is 100% uh, dynamic. And as you can see, I just have this ACF field down here just called large number. And you can see right here, this is the number that you put into your ACF field. And ACF doesn't add commas automatically either. That's like a whole nother uh, step that you would have to do if you want to add commas. But in this case, you can see it's just a really large number with no commas. So that's an ACF field. So if I go back into the back end of that page, you can see it's the very same thing. I just have a heading widget. And underneath uh, right here, I'll show you um, dynamic tags. If you click that, I scroll down into ACF field. Click on that again. And the key is called large number. And you can see right there, it's going to pull in whatever that, you know, ACF field is going to um, display. So that's all you have to do there. And just like the other one, you need to go underneath advanced. Give this one a custom CSS ID as well. So in this case, I just called it wiki design. Content, I made the same thing under the HTML tag. I called it an H2 as well. So just like the other one, what you need to do is you can add a comma right here and then add in that CSS ID and then an H2. So just like the very first one, just make sure you add a comma, put in that, and that's it. You just hit update. And this information isn't going to update on the back end correctly, um, just because JavaScript doesn't quite run inside the back end of Elementor. But when you go to the front end of the website, you can go ahead, hit refresh, and you can see it adds those commas automatically. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial on how to add commas to large numbers like this. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.